We're now going to continue you back to your normal broadcasting station. Today's episode is Minecraft. That's right. Blocks, picks, squares, cubes, shovels, axes, and, well, pretty much anything else that's a square. Hello YouTube, this is MC for PC. Um, this is going to be a Minecraft Porta server. Now, you guys are probably saying, what's a Porta server? Well, this morning I was playing Minecraft and I was just being, just thinking like, oh, how cool could it be if I could just run an executable, executable and it'd make a server and it'd, it'd run the server for me and I could play on that server. I got to thinking, well, is it possible? Is it actually doable? Is it probable? Yes, yes, and yes, guys. It can be done as honestly as it has. That's what this video is about. Now, this is the instructions on how to use it. I will go through and I'll make another video tutorial on how to make your own. If you guys want to customize it for a bucket server, if you'd like, or if you just want to uh, say you build one, you know, I'd go through and I can uh, easily do that for you, and I can include some of the basic um, batch files that you'll need in a converter so you can get it executable. Um, now I did personally make this myself and um, I'm also going to include a couple other files with this in the .zip download. I'd show you guys that but I haven't quite got that far because I mean honestly I've been working on this since 8 o'clock this morning which is almost what 10 hours and 15 minutes or so. Actually it's 10 hours and 14 minutes but you guys get the idea been doing this pretty much all day, so. Um, I suppose let's get started. Uh, this is going to be very simple on how to use it. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I totally forgot to tell you guys what I was going to add in the zip file. Um, I've failed the first time. I forgot to turn my mic on and make sure it was fully plugged in because I had a total er audio error, so this is actually the second time I'm making this video. So, sorry about that, guys. Well, I'm going to add an instructions.txt, and I'm also going to add a Porta server instructions.exe, and that's just going to open up and link you to a, well, actually, this YouTube video. Um, and you guys can go from there, then. Uh, I suppose let's get started here. You guys will need administrative properties, or this will not work. I can guarantee it. Uh, let's go to Programs. I'm sorry guys, let's go to my computer. I'll let's just start over. Let's go to my computer. I'm going to want to go to local disk C. Now this is very important that this is local disk C. It doesn't matter if it says local disk here, it can have um HP Compact whatever, whatever, whatever you guys name it. As long as that drive letter right there, that C colon in the parentheses, that has to be a C colon, that can't be a D and F a G a H a I or anything else. It has to be C, or this is guaranteed not to work due to the way I wrote the programming. But, um, if you guys did have something else, and I could, if you just guys uh, message me, I would be happy to customize this for you so it would work for you guys, and I would have no problem with that. And, uh, I do plan to keep this up to date and with the latest server files. Um... Uh, so if you guys have any questions, please comment um, or send me a message. I will respond. I check it as often as I can. And now let's continue. Uh, you're going to want to open up local disk C. This is where you're going to start needing administrative permissions. You're going to wipe. You guys can move it, but I'm just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to copy it in case it needs to be redone. Copy. Porta server and right click. You need to run it as administrator, otherwise, this will not work. It will not create the files necessary, otherwise, run as administrator. Click yes. Uh, it's running. Okay, see, it just created three files. One of them is a folder. It created remove Minecraft server files.exe, created server files.exe, and it created Minecraft underscore server. That's where the server is going to reside. Now I'll show you guys and just kind of walk you through what's going on in the command prompt. This is the port of server.exe that I have. This is what it looks like essentially when it's running in the background. Uh, C drive, uh, changing directory to back to C drive, 
just to make sure if in case you're running this from USB it's automatically going to locate itself back to C drive and then it's going to make the folder Minecraft server now it's going to move the file that it made server files.exe to Minecraft server then it's going to change its directory so it's in the Minecraft server which it shows there now press any key to continue and now it's actually what it did here is it uh, should say oh yep start server files.exe and then this is server files.exe as you can see uh, server thank you for making Minecraft portal, uh, portable Minecraft server press any key to continue and now it just created all the files needed before this folder only had one file now it has all of the necessary files you need to have a Minecraft server. Now I can guarantee you, okay, I can give you 99.9 .9 infinite percentile chance that this is not going to work the first time. That's the way it's written, that's the way I made it. It's supposed to be like that. It is okay when the Minecraft server will fail, like you're about to see. You're going to want to press the spacebar or any key. You're going to press another any key truly. Okay, and this is the Minecraft server. It's going to say failed to bind to port, and it's not going to work. Now you guys just close it out. But the reason why I had you guys do that is so now it's guaranteed all the files it needs are in this folder. And that's what it's supposed to do. You press any key to continue, and that window's going to close and go away. That's fine. It's supposed to. Now you guys are going to have to have this folder open. Um, if you don't remember, it's... Just go back to my computer here. Local disk C. And that should be right here. Minecraft underscore server. And then you're going to want to go to server that properties. Now this is where you guys, if you already have uh, made or futzed with a Minecraft server, you guys know how this works. Um, but if you don't and you're new to this, just go to start. Command prompt or actually type in... Um, if you're on Windows 7, you can, Windows 7 or Vista, you can just type in CMD and hit enter. But if you are on Windows uh, XP, which this is compatible for, you want to go to Run on your Control Panel on your Start menu. You're going to want to go to um, Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Run CMD, and it's going to open a command prompt window, and that's good. Um, now what we could do here is we're going to type in IP space config and hit enter. Oh, I'm sorry. IP no space config. Been a while since I've had to do this. And you're going to want to scroll up. And then right here we see uh, Ethernet adapter because I'm on Ethernet. For local area connection, that's the one you want. And this number right here is 192.168.1.17. That's very important. That's what you need to change this number to. Now if I go back and change this to 17, it will work. And um, I'm just going to change this back to the default. 25565, which is okay. That's probably what you guys are going to want to do as well. Um, I'm not going to do port forwarding this video, but I will do that and you link it. Uh, you guys can close this window now. Um, you guys can mess with any of the other settings if you'd like. Otherwise, well, you can close, save, and then you're going to want to double click the start.bat file. That's just going to start up your Minecraft. See, server is running. Um, the reason it says offline and secure mode is I have it open for SP players and it's generating world information. But if you have a few seconds here, it's going to show you that it did work. And it's a fully running Minecraft server. I'll even join it and uh, prove it to you guys if you'd like. Uh, let's go to Minecraft. Minecraft. And let it open. Log in. Sorry, guys, it's probably going to run slow. And update. Uh, I'm going to actually have to click yes. Um, oh, well you guys can at least see uh, Minecraft update, if you will. And this will work for Minecraft SP users. Um, 
Here's Mojang, and it should be right here. Multiplayer. Um, okay, I need to edit this because remember I changed it to one seven. Click done. And refresh. Look right there, guys. Join server. And see, I just joined the server. And it proved to you guys that I'm on. See, so the players call line online, and this is the only server I have. Um, so there, guys. That's how to use a port. Use my uh, homemade Porta server. Uh, that'll close. You're gonna have to press any key, and that window will go away. Now let's say you guys. Oh, yeah. I never use that old server. It's just there, and it's annoying, and I want it to go away. I don't know what files I need to delete. Well, actually. I included an uninstaller along with all my other fi with a couple other files that um, that I had. This file was actually uh, created when you ran Porta Server for the first time. Um, now, for some reason, something didn't go right. Let's say only half of your files got downloaded for whatever reason. Um, and you, for some reason, they didn't all get created. What we can do is just go through and run port server again. Uh, the file already exists. Uh, would you like to overwrite it? You can click yes or no. It doesn't really matter. I'll click yes just to show you that doesn't do anything. Could not create some of your files. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I failed. Um, it didn't work due to the fact that I didn't run it as administrator. I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, that's just a warning. Uh, ready exists. Overwrite. Click yes. There. And all your files should be back. Um, just walk through this again. Press space. Uh, current overwrite. And you click yes or no. So if you accidentally delete wrong files, then you can go through and you can obviously just rerun. Uh, click no, 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 and um, there, continue, all your files are back, space, space, and it even opens up your server for you, well, if you give it a second, I guess it didn't, but, um, oh, I clicked spaces too fast, I'm sorry guys, I should have waited just a little bit longer and it would have opened it, but either way, you guys know, know where to find the the folders, and you just want double click, start that bat. Should work. Okay, then that's not good. Oh, okay. I think I know what happened. Uh, but for, I'll uh, show you guys how to fix that. If if this does happen to you, you're going to just want to right-click, run as, uh, remove Minecraft server files that exe, run as an administrator. Click yes. You want to hit uh, any key. You want to select yes in order to continue. Hit enter. Thank you. Have a nice day. Press any key to continue. And look at that. Minecraft uh, server is gone. Uh, now you can actually can go through and delete this. Uh, continue. And Sorry again. Uh, that message will happen if you. That'll also pop up if you do not run it as administrator. Hit yes. I'll just let it go. One file created, one file. Sorry, two, three, f two files, one folder created, one file moved. Press space. Let's press space. Space space. There's your server. And close that out. And I just, I, it's not going to work because again, I just, it deleted my uh, configuration file. And I showed you guys how to change that so it does work. And I think that's all I'm going to show you guys in this video. Like I said, I'll include um, in the instructions a link to, actually, um, 
an executable that'll just link you to this YouTube video in case you do have certain problems. I can help you with them, or please comment if I didn't cover them and you guys would like me to. Um, I can always just do a video response showing you how to fix it. Hold on, guys. Sorry, my dad walked in. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. Uh, oh, cancel. Oh, I do not want to do that. Um, but there, yeah, there you guys go, and, um, I showed you guys how to use it and everything, and how it should probably be done. I'll, um, I'll make two more videos, uh, one on how to do a, a Minecraft server setup and port along with port forwarding. Uh, I can also include Hamachi if you guys would like, but I'm not going to do it in that video, I'd have to make another one. And I will also show you guys how to... Oh, how to make your own server setup like I did. Uh, it's fairly simple as long as you guys know batch programming, um, which is still pr fairly simple. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to call it a day. So, thank you guys very much. Um, showed you guys everything, and uh, everything worked. So, let's just uh, right click, run as administrator. Yes. Plus phrase. Y, enter, space, there. And I just undid everything it took me this video to do. I can uh, highlight these two folders, and I can delete, continue, All right, and you're done. Alright, well, guys, um, I'm going to get off, because that's everything I came out and uh, told you guys to do. So, MC for PC team, signing off.